so it's uh, I don't even know what time it is but I've been trying to sleep and I'm in agony I just I can't keep still absolutely every bone in my body hurts every muscle hurts and the pain in my bones it's just I can't even explain it's like it's deep 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 pain and like along with that deep pain is like a dull ache and I just just like all my muscles seem to be they're they're twitching they're pulsating um they're definitely spasming around the joints that have dislocated on and off today so I mean my mum got really really sick seven days before Christmas she had a heart attack so I've had to do my absolute best to help care for her and for someone who needs care themselves and I've had care for myself as well it's been the hardest thing that I have ever had to do like ever and I just I can't explain to you how from my head to toe everything hurts and I know that you probably saw my insta story over the weekend and my video that I posted about the makeup and the um, makeup applicator and I looked all perky and happy and smiley and chatty and the truth is is that I have suffered with insomnia like serious serious insomnia for a good few months now and it's just got worse for the last month or so and I'm literally getting about two hours sleep I'm absolutely exhausted like you can tell look at my under eyes they are I mean it's, it's impossible to try and cover this up even one of the best concealers in the whole world which I have is struggling to cover these up and it's like I just I'm struggling to function and I don't get much time to myself at the moment so when my mum has a lying on the weekends that's when I choose to have the me time and choose what I'm going to do with that time and as soon as I can't sleep it's not like I can have a lie in myself so you know do I listen to music do I watch tv do I watch netflix do I read or do I do something that I absolutely love and you know it makes me happy and that's my makeup and I know I don't get many views on my YouTube videos. I'm never going to have like probably more than 300 views. A couple of my videos have, but it's impossible. But the thing is, is I'm not doing it for the views. I'm actually just doing it as an outlet, as a way of showing other people who have my conditions or a condition that they're not alone. And sometimes it helps to see someone else going through their stuff because you just don't feel like you're the only one who's experiencing it and it just helps and so many people have private messaged me saying that my videos have helped them already and that they really appreciate it and it does take a lot of energy and the editing is so difficult and it's really really time consuming so I am struggling with that so I don't know I think people probably saw my videos over the weekend and thought oh my god she seems fine but I really wasn't Bear in mind that I'm on morphine four times a day, along with many other tablets. So at the moment I'm taking about 26 tablets a day, which is ridiculous. My mum's on 54, and I always vowed that I would just never, like, go on that many meds. But, you know, things happen, conditions arise, and if you need them, you need them. And there's just, there should be no shame on... If you need medication and how much you take and of course I try not to take things that are necessary I only, I only take them if they're really really necessary um, and it's only until today that I actually posted up the amount of medications I take I've had some private messages saying that I was brave for doing that and that they don't feel like that they can do that as well because of the judgment from other people and then from all the spiritual people and the healthy people saying oh you shouldn't be taking that it's all poison you're poisoning yourself you're making yourself ill and I've had all of that and it's absolutely angering and infuriating that people have the audacity to come to you with that 
I mean, I'm a spiritual person. I am, you know, I do meditation. I've taught meditation. I've tried absolutely everything. And if I need that medication, I'm on it for a reason. And so it's just made me quite upset today. You know, the, the messages I've received from people saying that they have been judged by people for the amount of medications that they take. And they couldn't post up like I did today how many they actually take. And that's just so sad. You know, it's sad. And um, I guess that's been playing on my mind tonight. And that's probably one of the reasons I can't sleep. But I mean, the main reason is, is that I'm aching and hurting from head to toe, like literally from head to toe. I've got a headache, really bad headache. And it feels like someone's literally pushing me behind my forehead, pushing. It's like a pressure headache. And it's like tingling as well. So I guess that's the start of a migraine. I, I, I do suffer from them. My jaw hurts. Um, it clicked out of place earlier. And then obviously my body, like all my joints absolutely are killing me. So it's, I just know that I'm going to, I'm in for a horrible night and a very long night. And then I've got a big day tomorrow and I've got hospital on Thursday and on Friday. And then again, twice next week. So I'm just going to have no energy and I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it all. And it's like, it's overwhelming and stressful. And like all my meds, like they're just not helping me right now. There are some more that I can take, but um, I try not to take extra meds, you know, as much as possible. But I think tonight might be a night when I have to take extra. And I guess the good side from that is they normally completely conk me out when I take the extra one. So I might actually get some sleep tonight. But as yet, I've been in bed for over an hour and a half and I'm just not sleepy at all. Like, I'm very tired. I'm mentally tired and physically tired. But in the sense of sleepy tired, no, no, I wish. So, yeah, I just thought I'd come and tell you I'm in agony. I'm in pain. I'm feeling a little bit blue and I'm sad. I'm frustrated with life in general and... Please don't see my videos, like my YouTube videos, and think that she looks fine, because I'm not. And for those of you, you know, who have invisible illnesses, I know that you know, you know, we can have good moments, and we can also act very, very well, so we should be given Oscars, because we are, you know, the best actresses out there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are trained or not, we're the best. So just for everyone out there who's trying their best just to be okay, just to try to be okay and to not worry people around you, don't forget to look after yourself. I guess we have to um, cope with the cards that we've been dealt with just the best we can. And just know that you're not alone. And if you ever want to message me, I'm here for you. So that I hope that you're all sleeping as I post this. And if you're not, fingers crossed for you that you do get some sleep tonight. Bye, guys.